it's it's already uh, a great opportunity for them to be here. Like I said before, South America and Central America, it's very hard to for them to come here and train Wushu. Yeah, Wushu is still, it's still in its infancy in many countries all over the world. I remember uh, when Wushu, just looking back 15 years ago in the U.S., I mean, there was a limit of accessibility to coaches or even the experience at World Championships. It takes many years for athletes to develop that experience to be able to utilize here. But it's good to see a lot of these athletes coming from uh, a lot of these countries and just you can see the development of Wushu. I'm sure in a few years we'll see a lot more podium finishes from a lot of these countries. Uh, hopefully. Our next competitor is Kabita Thapa from Nepal. Jump outside 360 for horse sense. It looks like she should go a little bit lower on the balance. Stereo. So, Mario, about the outfit, um, this new shoes, very, very shining. What do you think about them? They're new, right? Um, yeah, over the last couple of years, I think we've seen a lot more. Uh, really shining shoes. A lot more uh, customization in uh, attire for Wushu. And uh, I, think, I, I think it's good. I think it gives each athlete the ability to... Uh, just showcase a bit of your own personality and stand out a little bit more. Um, I think um, they all still must maintain some level of standard through, I mean, be good for Wushu. So having soft soles, having at least some form of stability um, is good. Definitely.